Andrew McCaw, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here in Billy Nelson, Jim and Green Gears. With me, I've got the big man, Martin Bacoli. Martin, I've just done two rounds with you on the pads, man. What do you think of my coaching skills and my pad work? First and foremost, that's the most important thing. You're the best. Yeah. You hear that, Billy? <laughs> I'm the best. Uh, yeah, you're here, you're still grinding away, you're still working away. Uh, I mean, there was that Tony Yoko fight that was dangled in front of you. That didn't happen, man. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I feel disappointed by to, uh, Tony Yoka team and him because they, they come to us, mm -hmm. they propose us the fight in the, in the Paris and everything. I never even say, I never even think, I just tell my coach, pick the fight, take the fight, we're going down. And I was surprised they called back that the Tony is not ready for me. But I was surprised to see he's, he's uh, fighting uh, Carlos Takams, who's uh, the best uh, opponent for him, but not better than me. You know, I don't know. Uh, I'm just disappointed by that because they come to us and they say yes. They propose us the fight, they say yes. And I was surprised they come back again to say no. That was why, why do you think? Why? Why do you think they don't want to fight you and they chose Carlos Takam over you? I think. Uh, uh, Tony Yoka team, they propose a fight without asking Tony Yoka because Tony Yoka, you know, is choosing the opponent. Two seconds, man. It's so hot in this gym. My, my lens is steaming up. I think that'll work. Listen, I'm on, I'm on cut, man. That, that your hands and your legs are. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Aye, so, aye, why, why don't you think he, he wanted to fight you and he chose t Carlos Takam? Uh, he's scared. That's in the short to all that he's scared. He doesn't want to fight me because you know he's going to lose or knock him out. That's why I choose uh, Takam, who already lost more than four fights by knockout, and he's too old now, and he's not even my ranking. I don't know if you understand. Mm -hmm. Tony is uh, 20, I'm, tw I'm uh, he's 19, I'm 20 in a box rack, and Takam is uh, 24, something like that. Why choosing someone who's down? than some the good opponent because me I never ask them to fight I always call everyone out I always want to fight the best and uh, all top guys there they come to us they propose us the fight I say yes and the big surprise was they come back again to say no <sighs> Tony you're a shit you're a bum yeah, we, listen what do you have to do then um, what's next for you I mean you, you, you're doing all the right things now since the Michael Hunter loss you're, 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 you're fighting everybody that's put in front of you you're stopping everyone that's put in front of you so what is next for Martin Bacoli yeah, yeah. Uh, I was surprised to see Michael Hunter after Junior Macabo Canelo and us in Mexico. Hunter tweeted me and said, let's do this in a Junior Macabo show. Mm. And I asked him, I always ask him out there every day, every minute, even in the Twitter, in an interview with you. He never said anything, but why only in Junior and the Canelo? Mm. I don't know, but I just tell him, uh, I'll always be ready. And uh, we will see who's the promoter of that fight. And if it will happen, why not? Okay. Uh, if it will happen, why not? And uh, I'm looking for, like now, I suppose to find December. We're still looking for for opponent who's going to face me. I'm struggling. I'm in the UK. We have a lot of everything in the UK. But I'm struggling to get opponent. Don't Sorry, know why. Man, just coming back to it there. I mean, it was so hot in this gym that uh, my lens was steaming up there. You, you're, you're struggling to get the fight. Oh, Billy Nelson just tickled my ear there. That's weird. <laughs> uh, you're struggling to get a fight, but like I said, you're doing the right things. But you are in the UK. We do have a lot of heavyweights, but it, they don't seem to mention you, even though you are probably are a UK fighter now. Why do you think that is? I mean, you've called for Cherek Chazori. You've called for Dillian White. You've called Dubois. You've called Joyce. But why can't you get these fights? That's what I'm asking you, like you ask yourself, I always ask myself why now, because my ranking is nice, mm -hmm. you know, I'm close, I'm number 20, I'm in number 20, but, and I'm not in number 10, but in 20, but why not picking me, every, uh, everyone who's on a, in a top 10, 5, 6, 7, uh, I'm surprised like you are, and I always asking myself that question myself, why I'm in the UK? and all the top boxers in the UK, why not picking me? I'm always calling them out. If we interview everyone, nobody will mention my name. Mm. I don't know why, <laughs> they're scared. They know why. <laughs> Talk about something they might not be scared. It's like, you, you mentioned Dylan White. He, he's obviously, he's want, wanting the, the Tyson Fury fight. Um, Tyson Fury seems to want it as well. He's put a couple of stories on, on Instagram and stuff like that. Tyson obviously had a good win against Wilder. He can't get the Joshua fight. What do you make of the Tyson Fury versus Dylan White? Uh, Fury will knock him out. Yeah. yeah, Dylan White is a good boxer, but I think Fury will knock him out. 
maybe in four rounds. Yeah, that, that quick? That's very quick. Because he will knock him out, uppercut like uh, Alexander, the Russian guy, did that. Yeah? yeah, he will knock him out, believe me. When you look at the heavyweight scene right now, I mean, the landscape always changes. I mean, Yusik is now unified uh, heavyweight champion of the world. He he beat Joshua in a points decision. Uh, Fury finally put that to bed with Wilder. It seems like every time these champions face each other, the landscape is changing every now and again. And I want to talk about your brother because... It's crazy what can happen in boxing. You're saying you can't get the fights, but who knows what's going to happen in six months' time? Who knew your brother would fight Canel? Do you know what I mean? So, the next six months going into like the summer next year, what are you hoping for? Um, I mean, on your brother's undercard, maybe against a, a good, a good opponent, a good top ten heavyweight. What are you hoping for in the next six months? Uh, no, we know we're looking for. Firstly, I was, uh, you know, waiting on uh, on December to fight someone to so finish my head uh, here with a good fight, but. Uh, I was hoping to fight Yoka in December, so I finished my year with a good fight and uh, be ready for next one. And uh, why not fighting the good guy? Because Canelo Jr., that's a big fight. That's a big fight. And uh, why I can't fight the bum? So I will need someone from maybe top five uh, to ten. Like Michael Ant already mentioned the name, I love that because uh, that will be a good fight, you know, rematch mm-hmm. in that undercar. That would be a good fight. Why not fight uh, Chisora? Uh, Chisora is not his bum. The, win, the winner of Parker Chisora, the winner? Parker, the winner. But the win, Parker is going to be Chisora. Chisora is uh, no, it's just there for money. He's not, he's not doing it for career. Mm. But I think Parker, is, that is a good fight. Anta, uh, Egovic is down, so Egovic as well. So why not? But because Tony Yoka is a bum, I will not hurt him now because uh, he's scared. I like can see that in the show to every fan that is scared. Your, your coach might not like this next question, but one's if, like obviously the undefeated heavyweights in the UK aren't fighting you. But one guy who seems to fight is that Alan Babich. I mean, I mean, he's undefeated. He's a, he's a, he's making a name for himself in the UK. If you beat this guy, and it's a business more than anything, I can see you're shaking your head, and I'm not going to even look at Billy. <laughs> but what's your thoughts on that fight? Would you take it if offered? I'll never take that. I still have more to improve to UK's fun because that is not my level. Mm-hmm. It's just mentioned the name like I do, but I'll never. That is no. Uh, I don't know. He's a good boxer. He's a, he's a big puncher as well, but he can't do 12 rounds. He's not 12 round fights. He's still you know, learning and still building up is his career. I just give him advice to take it slowly, man. This is boxing. One punch, you can sleep forever. And uh, uh, come on. You have a big, big, big career before you. Take it easy, yeah, level by level, and you'll get my level. Never mention my name anymore. I'm not your level. Well, that ends that one. Let's talk about your brother, Junior, then. I mean, Canel, did you see that coming? Oh. I mean, after 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 becoming un- uh, unif- uh, undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, did you see Canel moving up to cruiserweight? I didn't. He mentioned his name as well, mm-hmm. and I saw the video face-to-face for the first time. But he make big mistake. He made big mistake. Uh, you know, he's a good. Uh, who can say Canelo is not a good fighter? He's a good fighter, but he make big mistake of moving to Cozwe. Maybe he can do better. You know, maybe he can surprise everyone like uh, Uzik did to to Joshua. He came from Cozwe, Everett, and is uh, today a number one. He beat Joshua. Uh, he can surprise everyone, but he's a big mistake of picking Junior. He's supposed to know. Maybe first uh, give him easy fight because you know you came new to division. Maybe give him easy fight and he can make first junior. But to first junior once is a big mistake. Okay, you're saying it's a big mistake. I take it you think that junior's too big, obviously, for Canelo, and maybe this might be a step too far in terms of Canelo might get hurt and your brother. Do you think your brother can stop Canelo? Yeah, junior is not only too big; he's a big puncher as well. And uh, did you see what he did to two Russia's guys, mm-hmm. two champion, big, uh, good fighters, Russia? Uh, he can take punch, but he can punch. He's got a nice uppercut hook, uh, big, big punches. Well, Canelo's a man, but I don't see him going 12 rounds. I see Junior stop Canelo. That is my opinion, and I believe that, and I can feel that. And if the fight happens, I think Canelo will lose. He will lose by knockout. Would you fight an undercard in Vegas if it's in Vegas? Would you love that? I love it. <laughs> I'm, I'm already in touch with my brother, so why not? Yeah, no. That's my brother on the show in the Canelo. I love to be there. Imagine 
the young brother and big brother are fighting the same show. If it's, if it's in Vegas, keep that man there. Yeah. Keep that man away from uh, the casinos and stuff like that, right? <laughs> that man loves a bit. You know, he's always he's always showing me his winnings and stuff. He never shows me the losses. Shows me the wins. <laughs> uh, one final word for you then, Martin. You got a message for these heavyweights out there? You got a message for them, one final word? Yeah, the only message is that uh, stop running away. I know everyone, boxing is now business. I understand now people is interesting in money, seeing money, yeah. That is not too bad, but... Let's give fun what they want, and uh, I'm number 20 in the ranking, number 14 in the WBC ranking, something like that. My ranking is always going up. I think, uh, like I always tell you, that if people running now, there will be time, no more running, and I will catch them there. We will just, you know, make a fight, because I can see now boxing the business, everyone focus on in, uh, in, uh, good money. Um, good luck to them, and I will always be there if anyone on top 10, they up, won't find me, just contact me or my manager. I'll be available for everyone. There you go. Man, thank you so much for doing this, 5 TV. Hopefully you get a big fight soon, and I'll speak to you soon, brother. Thank you. you too.